Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the tail end of FIFA 23 and we're starting to see the content get a bit dry and our willingness to grind the game day in and day out is starting to dwindle. But a staple of end game content every single year on FIFA is hopefully coming next and I think it might be the only thing that can save FIFA 23 Ultimate Team right now. So we're going to talk about that pink card promo in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Guys, watch out for for an additional upload today on the channel as well. We have some really crazy insider looks at EAFC 24 upcoming. So I want to make sure you guys check that out. It'll be coming later today as a double upload. But first of all, let's get into the video by looking at yesterday's content, which wow, this really got people talking yesterday and not in a good way. We loaded into 6 p.m. content yesterday, expecting some upgrade packs. We got two of them, both of them absolutely insane prices and not in a good way. First of all, the 81 plus player pick i mean the best thing i can tell you about this spc right now is don't even touch it unless you really want to keep cards in your own sign and you want to do player picks for that sort of fun aspect I, I know player picks are very popular but the best upgrade craft right now is the level the level up crafting upgrade guys you turn in six golds to get three back this one you turn in nine golds to get just one back inside of a player pick last week this 81 plus player pick required just five players and now it reply it requires Requires nine. I don't know why the change. I don't know why it had to be so much more expensive, but that right there is honestly just kind of a scam. And I believe that gold cards on the market are still about 350 to 400 coins because most people, I think, are not seeing the, I guess, point to grinding a lot of upgrade packs right now. Yeah, still 400 coins in the market for gold cards, which is very easy to get. So it does make the packs and the picks very cheap. But uh, man, that level of crafting upgrade is so much better for the crafting right now in this game in terms of upgrade packs to try to get yourself one of these level up team two cards so that you can go and upgrade it right and that's kind of the whole grind at the moment now the other spc is a bigger one a more expensive one and the price on this one was crazy yesterday as well and get ready it's coming back refreshing every 24 hours is the 85 times seven upgrade pack and you're like oh we've seen that pack before it's not that bad of value right well this time ea made it an 88 rated squad to get the spc done 89 percent downvoted spc that is a very heavy downvote percentage and i don't know why it's this expensive other than the fact that right now i guess ea is assuming that we might have fodder in our clubs especially higher rated fodder if we've done like a kyle enrique kalulu tiago jalo or a taller one of these barardi or malin type of cheaper level up players they're maybe thinking that we have a lot of those in our clubs right now that we're able to just submit that in a team of the season card into this SBC and fill in the rest of the squad with lower rated fodder, which again, they are giving out a lot of lower rated fodder. You've got the daily, um, at, you know, daily login objective giving us good packs, especially as we get towards the end. Today is the last day, right? 11 and 12 gave us some really good packs the whole way through. We've been getting 83 doubles. The cup is out, draft is out. So there's a lot of ways to get fodder right now. And I think that might just be the reason why EA made this 85 times seven so expensive. Also because the fact that they know as serious players of ultimate team grinding this game right now, we always want to have packs to open. I mean, you think about the cards that are in packs too, Varane, Chameni, uh, Goretzka, Darwin Nunez, Gabriel Martinelli. Like we at least want to take a shot at opening those. But man, I mean, this is just way too expensive. So yesterday's content seemed like a massive, massive L because everything was overpriced now some people are saying should i save the 85 times 7 for footies and to that i would say i would rather have a shot at packing something right now that yes it would include a gameplay grind as a part of it but packing a one of the top five promo players in this level up promo in my opinion um is better than what's going to be in packs during this next week of content because that's just re-released content right we'll talk about best of during footies that's just re-release cards and you maybe you get a little bit more fodder then but if you're opening packs you're hoping for like the big ticket item right i would rather open right now and have at least a chance of a varan martinelli nunez or any of those big cards rather than waiting for maybe just a little bit more fodder but that's kind of a decision that you have to make depending on what you really want in this game and what guys what we really need right now in this game is something to shake it up right we've been in this level up promo for two weeks now or a week and a half we need something to shake it up and i hope what that thing is is footies because footies might be the only thing that can save 
Ultimate Team right now. And what I want to do is, even though Footies is not confirmed 100% to be this Friday, it seems the most likely promo to be dropped. I want to take you guys through just a little bit of what Footies is and why it's so hyped. Because, guys, this is a promo that we expect every single year in the late July time frame. And it runs through August. And it's the staple of endgame promos on FIFA, we might even see a loading screen similar to the one that we had last year. This is last year's footies loading screen. We might see a loading screen similar to this even as early as today. I believe it was a couple weeks ago on Tuesday when we saw the first level up card on the loading screen. Like it was very, very early for team one, I believe. Um, that we saw a loading screen, or maybe it was Wednesday, but Tuesday, Wednesdays, always days where we could get some news about the, what is coming next as our next upcoming promo. So also with this being possible uh, for a loading screen soon, one of the biggest part about footies is and why people get excited for it every single year is because the voting. We as a community get to choose the players that are going to be getting upgraded special cards as a part of footies. Again, this is an SBC based promo. There are no new cards in packs. At least that's how they've done it in previous years. And really what it's about is all of these insane players that we end up getting through SBCs. And a lot of them we vote on. These weekly award winners, as they kind of say them, or weekly footies voting to give them a special premium footies item. So that's one of the things that started last year. Even before the footies promo actually starts, we get a chance to vote on these players because whoever ends up winning in the vote, we then get an SBC for on the weekend and last year the votings were on wednesdays i do believe and then we got the sbcs either on fridays or saturday so that's one of the coolest part about footies as well even though these new cards aren't in packs and some people are like why would this promo be hyped uh because the cards aren't in packs they're in sbcs and objectives only well that's kind of the reason that it's hype is because these insane cards are released and they're actually pretty attainable you look at this barella footies card a premium card by the way like he already has solid links does he really need premium they just gave it to him right that's the end game kind of vibe 200,000 coins, I think was his SBC price first day for a five star, five star, high, high Barella with all 90 stats. That card was so overpowered. I think the first 40s SBC that we had was Luis Diaz, and he was a premium card, only 200K to get him done. And this was released, guys, on Friday, July 15th. That would have been like this last Friday of this last week um last year and uh here we are in late july once again this is the perfect time for this promo to drop which is why i think there's a very good likelihood that it could be this friday even though we've already talked about it coming we thought it might have been before level up but of course that was just ea adding packs to the code so a little bit more about this promo it's all sbc and objective based as we said there's not only just the footies that come out with the weekly voting we get footies favorites cards as sbcs that'll be dropped those are always really good player items i mean those are some of the biggest names footies favorites um, are coming out as like the wissam ben yedder footies card that we had last year um, i think mason mount or maybe usman dembele was a footies favorite like you look at some of these cards that are in here yeah you got some lower rated ones like 94s but then you have cards like this man like this is end game right now this stuff doesn't come until august a couple weeks into the footies promo but this is the type of content that i think everybody is is waiting for yes we're getting great cards right now and level up but it's not the sbc type of grind that i think a lot more people would enjoy at this stage of the game i'd rather i like i think a lot of people would rather go into the sbcs complete an sbc for a player that's three four five hundred thousand coins get that absolutely insane item be able to go play foot champs with it for new and updated rewards we'll talk about that in a second as well and do that instead of having to go do an sbc for a player that's cheap and then go play 10 to 15 or 20 games or more for some of the top tier cards to then get that upgraded item, right? I think a lot of people would say, I would like to take the road of less effort right now and just do an SBC, get the upgraded card and boom, straight into my team. I get to use them after that. So that's a big part of the footies promo is of course the SBCs and the different types of SBCs that we get. And of course, the best of re-release. We've already seen this confirmed by Pack Co that EA has added. There's going to be a best of once again for footies. That was, those were the leaks that we talked about a couple of weeks ago before level up. Um, EA added one of those to the code. So we know we're getting a best of batch one. And I want to talk about that again just a little bit here is guys don't expect players from team of the season don't expect players from level up or shapeshifters to be in packs this friday batch one is always a bit disappointing because it's going to include players from older promos probably like trophy titans foot birthday fantasy foot um you know road to the final 
future stars all the stuff basically from the early to middle and kind of the first part of the second half of the year anything up until the team of the season is usually included in the first batch of the footies re-release which does usually include multiple team of the year cards as the best and kind of like highlighted players in that team team of their honorable mention should be in it as well so that's another reason why i would say probably not saving your 85 times sevens right now is the is the way to go like give yourself a shot if you want to save one or two okay but i would say Try to open these, man, because if you hit a Varan, if you hit somebody massive, that might go further right now than it would next week during a footies best of re-release. The only best a good thing that you have about a best of is you got a bunch of fodder in packs, a lot of lower rated players from earlier promos that you can use for SBCs. But don't be super, super excited for a best of that's not going to include the best of the best of. Um, right away. Now, also last year, there was a uh, weekly cup for footies. We have a cup this week for the second week of level up as well. Hopefully that does continue because we always love a bit of a gameplay grind that gives us more packs with some very fun, varying type of uh, requirements each week like they had last year as well. So we love that. And then also, this is a really big one, right? This actually kind of refreshed a little bit of the hype in foot champs last year. 92 plus shapeshifters were included in the player picks and the player packs for each of the different ranks rank five you got a 92 plus shapeshifters and efix tots pack pick one of three not a pack sorry it was a pick one of three and then rank four and above you got that same thing 90 plus or 92 plus as a pack so if you think about that this year team of the season 92 plus or shapeshifters i mean obviously there's a lot of great shapeshifter cards that would be included in there i don't think icons would be included guys i don't believe they would uh but you know you've got players like vvd uh depai mares felix um pogba Yuris, some of these guys from shapeshifters one two and three that would be in the rewards pool and that gives you a chance to get some of these shapeshifter cards um, untradeable in that way that's that's really really fun so it kind of adds another reason to grind a little bit um during the summer uh, with the extra weekend league rewards that you do get from it. So that's kind of an overview of the footies promo. Now, again, guys, we just need some information, right? Literally, all we're asking for today is a loading screen. If we get a loading screen, man, it is going to really amp up the hype because once we know footies is coming for 100% surety, like it's going to be hype, guys, because footies always brings the good content every single year. And it's always a promo that some people that have quit FIFA for months beforehand come back for footies just because it's kind of like the final send off promo. And also, it happens right around the same time that we're starting to think about the new game and next year and learn all about that, which we have some more news coming out about today as well. So, we're going to talk about that. So, that's kind of everything related to, to footies. And I wanted to spend some time talking about that in this video just because I think that promo right now would bring some much needed life back to the end of FIFA 23 and probably give us some content that a lot of us would really at least have more enjoyment grinding than I think some of us are really uh, enjoy or more than we're enjoying this level up promo at the moment. Now let's talk about level up Tuesday content today. We do have a couple interesting things today. First of all, the last day of the daily login is today guys i'm one behind so it's not the last day for me but a lot of you guys today are going to be 12 of 12 completions it's going to be an 85 times 5 for day 12 and also an 85 times 5 for the total group reward so basically an 85 times 10 today if you look at it that way going to be available to you through the daily login sbc which then you could of course go put back into the 85 times 7 go craft an icon sbc or a player sbc that is out right now there is a new player sbc leak we have one active leak right now in this game and it is Carvalho coming as a moment's SBC soon. Stats predicted. I'm going to be completely honest. I had no clue that he transferred. Um, and I kind of even forgot who this was for a second. But he is now at Leipzig. And just like we saw with Alexis McAllister moving to Liverpool, even though this card shows a dynamic image, I would not expect to see a dynamic image on the card and guys it's got to be pretty cheap right it's got to be a pretty cheap card hopefully the stats are pretty good and maybe some skill move weak foot upgrades for that man as well um they did juice McAllister really well i know a lot of you guys have done this sbc it seems like ea must be starting off kind of small and i guess kind of uh 
easy and not super crazy uh, with these transfer SBCs. We got some big names out there, Bellingham and Kunku, right? The, the list goes on of some really big top tier transfer names. Messi, right? Could he get one of these? <laughs> Maybe, who knows? But um, that's sort of the, the big list that we have dreams of seeing. But right now we're starting off small. Maybe they'll release some of those a little bit later on. Um, I, I hope EA keep these coming, right? This would bring a little bit of extra hype to a lot of different people in the game just to go and do an SPC for a player that transferred to their club or maybe even transferred away from their club um, to at least use them for one last time in Ultimate Team this year. So watch out for that. That could be today. That also could be a bit later down the road. And then of course the 85 times seven is refreshing today as well as we talked about. Now I wanna talk about the market just really briefly because I know a lot, not a lot of you guys are trading, but a lot of you guys are watching level up cards. You're like, Nate, when do I buy these to get them done? You know what we saw yesterday? It was actually a lot of movement on level up team number one. Some of these cards have absolutely exploded. Alfonso Davies went from 480,000 coins on um, Monday morning, early Monday morning, 470, 480. He went all the way to 600K and is now back down to about 550. But a lot of these cards from team one, I think with people knowing there's only a couple of days left to get them done and they're, they're gonna miss out if they don't buy the card now and get it done, Davies, Timo Werner, but specifically Renato Sanchez and um, De Bruyne have absolutely exploded. I had to buy Renato yesterday for 3.9 million coins flat. He's now about 4.03. He was 4.1. Uh, Davies was the biggest riser for sure, but a lot of those cards started to go up. And level up team two, some of those cards rose nicely yesterday as well. Chameni was about 1.25. Right around the content drop, he went up to about 1.4, went back down to 1.25, spiked again as a lot of people went back out to the market to buy these cards. I would say if we get footies, news, information, that would be a catalyst for a lot of prices on this market probably dropping because once again, that just gets people thinking about great SBC content that they're going to A, need coins for, B, need fodder for. And uh, yeah, so I would say if we do get a footies loading screen today, if we see anything along those lines, um, whenever that happens, if it's today, if it's tomorrow, there's probably going to be some movement on the market. So I would be careful, even with level up cards. I think there could be a bit of panic there um, just because footies is that big of a promo. Now, speaking of panic and speaking of SBCs, let's talk about fodder a bit because fodder as well is really, uh, unless you're talking about the higher tier, um, the lower tier is really not moving that much. 85s are still 5K, 84 is 2.2 thousand coins. 86 is and above though with that 87 or sorry 85 times 7 refreshing today watch those higher rated fodder parts of the market for some more spikes like we saw yesterday Cancelo went from 14k all the way to 17,000 coins and some of the 88s are back down a little bit um, if you guys remember I had a bunch of Kevin De Bruyne's that I bought at 22 to 23,000 coins on Saturday, I think it was, maybe even Friday night. And he went all the way to 30, 32,000 coins yesterday, whereas I was able to sell for 30 to 32K. That was a very, very nice trade there. Um, and it's that high tier on the fodder market that is moving the most and moving the best right now because that's what people are having to buy the most to go and do the SBCs like that 85 times seven and that refreshes once again today. So I would expect fodder to be moving once again, but would you be like, Nate, should I invest in fodder for footies? We're talking about SBC based promo. We're gonna talk about that more throughout the later, later parts of this week. I would not invest yet for that just because there's gonna be a lot of supply on the top tier end of the fodder market. Maybe the low tier is where we end up looking maybe this weekend for more footies SBCs, maybe maybe 85s, maybe 86s have the return to investment profit glory, as you could say, because they've been in the mud for a while. It's been the higher rated fighter recently that's done the best. But as we've mentioned, old out of pack specials coming back into packs with those higher ratings could dilute the prices of those higher rated fodder markets um, just because there's a lot more cards getting resupplied there. So we're going to be very watchful of that. And the last thing to watch out for today is some EA Sports news. Um, I think EA might have even tweeted it themselves and it's on their YouTube channel. We are getting the in game our in-depth look at eafc 24 the deep dive on gameplay today july 18th it's going to be released about, i think about two hours before content so if you want to see us react to that live on stream uh we're going to watch the video we're going to talk about it kind of dig into the details read the pitch notes that we get from this deep dive which we should get hopefully today and uh yeah there's gonna be a lot of eafc information today as well surrounding the internet the webs 
And of course, we'll be talking about it on stream. So we've got a busy Tuesday up ahead of us today. But if you're excited for this EA FC24 release, and if you're excited for footies, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions, of course. And as always, subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for 94,000 subscribers. I know it's not like a monumental number, but it's just a cool one to see. You get that fresh uh, zeros mark. And it's, uh, yeah, just a big thank you to you guys for watching the videos day in and day out. And I really, really appreciate all the support over the years. And of course, up until now, and hopefully into the future as well. So I'll see you guys on stream today. Again, it's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys there. Peace.